Hey guys, welcome back to another week of virtual PD with Coach A. This week we're going to talk about personal hygiene. Yes, that's keeping yourself clean. Now everybody knows you need to take a shower. And everybody knows you need to brush your teeth. But today what I want to talk about is washing those hands. Okay, so stick around and we're going to talk about hand washing. Okay guys, so personal hygiene. That includes stuff like taking a shower, keeping your body clean, and brushing your teeth, keeping your teeth clean. But now more than ever, we need to focus on washing our hands. So I'm going to go over some hand washing techniques with you guys, and let's check it out. Okay, so first things first, the most obvious thing, soap. Don't just wash your hands with running water. You're going to need some soap. So, quick pop of soap. And... You get a good lather going, and what you want to do is make sure you're washing all parts of your hands, okay? So that includes in between your fingers, around your hands, and, very important, under your fingernails, because you can accumulate a lot of dirt and germs under there. So what I like to do is put my hand like this, make a platform, and wash underneath my fingernails. Don't forget your thumb, okay? Underneath your fingernails. You can go all the way up to your wrists, okay? Now, how long should you wash your hands? Well, that's a good question. You should wash your hands for the duration of the, uh, the time it takes you to sing Happy Birthday. So let's go ahead and do that now. Ready? All right, let's start over. Soap, little water, and here we go. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hillside Warrior. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so that's about 30 seconds. Okay, so next you're going to want to rinse your hands. Okay, now this next step is very important, especially if you're in a public place. You just wash your hands. You don't want to get them dirty again. So, while you're drying your hands with a paper towel, you're going to want to make sure you use that same paper towel to turn off the water because that water uh, handle is dirty. And that way you protect your newly clean hands from the germs that are there. Good work, guys. Okay, our hands are clean, so now what? Well, if you're in a public place, you want to go ahead and hold on to that paper towel that you were using to dry your hands. And when you go out of the bathroom, sometimes you have a push door that you can push. What I recommend you do is use anything except your hands, okay? Because you don't know if everybody who uses the restroom washes their hands. I know that sounds kind of gross, but it's true. So, if you can, use a different body part to open the door. If it's a push door, you can use your elbow, you can use your back, or you can even use your foot to push the door open. But if it's a pull door, you want to keep that paper towel that you used, use it as a shield because your hands are clean, remember, no more germs, and you're going to want to use the paper towel to open the door for you. Okay? And usually, there's a trash can right by the door in a restaurant or a public place where you can dispose of your paper towel. Alright guys, so those are just some quick tips that you can use when you're washing your hands at home or in a public place, okay? So, in a little bit I'm going to show you an experiment that you can do at home so you can see how dirty things can be. So go ahead and stick around and I'll show you that in a bit. Okay guys, so now for that experiment that I was talking about. For this experiment, you're going to need a pencil, some tape, and some glitter. Okay, so here we go. 
Step number one, you're gonna go ahead and take that pencil and you're gonna wrap it with your tape, okay? Now there's a little trick to this. You're gonna to wanna to take the sticky part and put it at the very top of the pencil, but we're not gonna wrap it with the sticky part in, we're gonna wrap it with the sticky part facing out. So I'm gonna twist it back and I'm gonna make sure that that sticky part faces the outside, see? Okay, and we're gonna roll this tape all the way down. Okay, might be a little bit difficult, but once you get it going, you'll be good. All right, so I get it going. Go ahead and start twisting. Get a little bit more tape. And I'm gonna twist it all the way down the length of my pencil, like this. Okay, take it nice and slow, no rush. A little more tape. Keep it going. A little more tape. And keep it going. And then when you get to the very end, just go ahead and tear off your tape, like so. And go ahead and finish wrapping it up. Just like that. Okay, so now you have a pencil that's wrapped with tape with the sticky part facing out. See how it's sticking to my fingers? Okay, so now this is where the glitter comes in, okay? So while I'm getting the glitter ready, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about germs. Germs are microscopic organisms that you can't see with your eyes. You need a special tool called a microscope. Now germs can make you sick sometimes, okay? You, like you can get the flu or you can get a cold because maybe you touched something that somebody else touched who was already sick, okay? Now, if you could see germs, you probably would be washing your hands a lot more than you do, okay? And you would not want to touch things that are yucky, like um, the floor or stuff in public, okay? So, but if you could see germs, what if you could see germs? We're going to pretend that this glitter are germs, okay? So what I'm going to want to do is take this glitter and pour it over the sticky pencil, okay? Now, like with anything, if you're listening, ask your parents' permission first, okay? If there's a potential to make a mess, you need to ask your parents' permission, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this glitter all over the sticky pencil, like so. A little bit of glitter here, a little bit of glitter here, a little bit of glitter here. Okay, just keep going all the way around. Or if you want to do it a faster way, you can pour the glitter into your plate like this and go ahead and roll the pencil around in it. Okay, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Just as long as you get that pencil covered with glitter. Okay, just keep going, keep going. Okay, awesome. Now I'm just gonna leave this pencil line here while I go ahead and talk to you guys. Okay, so here's the plan. I want you to take the glitter pencil very carefully and I want you to hand it to somebody in your family. Okay, don't tell them why, just hand it to them. Okay, and then take that glitter pencil again and hand it to somebody else in your family. And keep going until all your family's done. And then I want you to get your family together and I want them to show you their hands. And what you're gonna see is Everybody who touched the pencil has glitter in their hands, okay? So that's kind of like anybody, anybody who touches something that has germs on it, they are also going to have germs on their hands. So this is just an experiment to show you how germs can be transferred from one place to another place or from one person to another person, okay? So check that out. Oh my goodness, if you could see germs, yuck. Okay, so that's just a quick experiment I wanted to show you, the glitter pencil, to show you how germs are spread. And remember the importance of washing your hands for 20 to 30 seconds, singing that happy birthday song, making sure you get every single part of your hands and underneath your fingernails and even your wrists. All right, guys, so that's a quick lesson on uh, washing your hands and germs. Okay, so until then, I'll see you next time. Remember to always work hard, Never give up.
and give your personal best. See ya.